<laughs> Good morning, y'all. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> I'm up with you. I should be asleep. But I'm up with you. God bless y'all. Hey. Uh, I hope y'all been okay. Uh, and taking y'all's time. Keep that in mind. Uh, one day at a time, and you'll be fine. Little by little. <laughs> Uh, I told y'all, y'all ain't gonna be seeing me like that uh, uh, because I got a few things to do. But uh, I left y'all pretty well equipped off. Y'all spend as much time as y'all can in God's word. When you get the Holy Spirit, you ain't gonna need me. <laughs> That's why you got a Bible. Uh, read the word. You gotta spend time in the word. That's how you remain in Jesus. I don't gotta be around people. I could be out and around people. First of all, <clears throat> Whatever today, today Sunday. Yeah, God bless y'all. Uh, <laughs> uh, today Sunday, uh, April second, for thirty four thirty seven a.m. two thousand twenty three. It's early. Uh, all glory and honor and praise go to my Father in heaven, Lord Jesus and the sweet Holy Spirit. I gotta give credit, honor, and glory to who is due. Yeah. Y'all bear with me. It's early. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I was saying, man. <clears throat> And you got to be around people and hit people over the head with the Bible and show people who you is. But God's word got to be in your heart. Amen. I'm out. I'm out 24 <laughs> seven and I ain't got to hit everybody with this and that. Everything ain't meant for everybody. You know, uh, God's word got to be in your heart before it could be somewhere else. You see what I'm saying? If that make any sense to you. But anyway, spend as much, spend as much time as y'all can in God's word. Uh, yeah, because uh, you're going to need that. Man. Yeah, I ain't gonna be on here like that. I got a few things to do, <clears throat> uh, but I ain't focusing on the problems. You know, life like David and Goliath. I love the story about David and Goliath. He focused on God. When he focused on God, Goliath like a like a pebble. You see what I'm saying? A giant really ain't a giant, but you still got to get up and go face it up. <laughs> Amen. Okay. Uh, but God bless y'all. You never gonna get step two. You take step one. Step one, taking God at his word. Amen. Keep on doing that. And yeah, once you get the Holy Spirit, you ain't going to need me, but you're going to need God's word. Remain in it. Get as much as you can. All right. Then we can get up, get out. When you can, get up and get out. Get up and get out. Go well, me to Psalm 23, verse 1. Brother David said, the Lord is my shepherd. I lack none. Amen. I might not got this. I might not got that. It ain't about what you got. I was talking to somebody the other day. I was thinking to myself like a few days ago. Something popped up in my head. You know, a lot of people think they need money to do this or do that. Or or if they had the money, they had the, they got the opportunity. <clears throat> if you got the money, it ain't about what you do when you got it. Life about what you do when you don't got it. Because who you is when you don't got it defines who you're going to be when you do have it, if that makes any sense to you. If you think you, if you're waiting for that perfect opportunity to get something, to change your life around, you're never going to change your life around. You change your life around from point zero. Amen. <clears throat> The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. You see what I'm saying? He makes me lie down in green pastures. Uh, he leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right path for his name's sake. Amen. I'm not perfect. Brother David won't perfect. <laughs> yeah, I love this. He guides me along the right path for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley. Amen. I will fear no evil. Uh, for you with me. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Amen. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. I like that. David said, you anoint my head with oil. The Lord anoint his head. The oil representation of the Holy Spirit. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. I love that. <clears throat> I love that. Amen. I love that. It was, uh, I was going to go somewhere. But I ain't gonna go there. <laughs> God bless you. I love, I love Psalm 23. If you ain't got nothing, keep the Lord. You ain't gonna get step two to take step one. You hear me? Don't be afraid to take step one. Get up and get out. Do what you gotta do. The Lord be with you, no matter where you at. Don't fear what's around. Get up, get out, and get to it. Amen. All right, where I'm gonna go to? All right, I guess I can go there. You got two types of people. No matter what, no matter what. Hey, I, I can go there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I can go there. All right. Uh, all right. Yeah, I can go there. <laughs> Y'all bear with me. It's early. If I can find 10. Uh, 
I'm looking for when Jesus flipped the tables over. <laughs> if one of y'all know where Jesus flipped the tables over at, tell me. Before I find it. Type it in. Type it in. Because I don't want to have to use my phone. And it's pretty embarrassing that I don't know. But I'm going to find it. Though. One of y'all find it. Type it in your phone. When Jesus flipped the tables over. When Jesus, uh, uh, y'all, please help me out. I'm asking for your help. Uh, somebody. I'm fine. If I'm fine, y'all bear with me. It's kind of embarrassing. It's early in the morning. I'm gonna find y'all. Y'all, y'all bear with me. It's, I had something else in my mind. Uh, anyway, man, Jesus came to the temple one day, and uh, he flipped the tables over y'all <laughs> because he seen the people in there. And I can't find it in my phone. I can't look at my phone right now. I ain't got my other phone. He flipped the tables over there. <clears throat> All right, because they was doing something. Uh, they was turning God's house into a, a, a place of den and robbers. You know, Jesus don't like that. You know, he flipped the tables up. Y'all other people, y'all find yourself feeling like the Lord. Y'all find yourself having to flip a table over more. Y'all done flip, any one of y'all flip the table too over lately? <laughs> <laughs> I want to find this story. Will one of, well, of y'all please type in y'all's phone? There's somebody looking. Brother Mike, type in your phone. Uh, Jesus flipped the tables up. Somebody, please help me. Because I'm going to read the story. And I just can't find it, man. I don't know what. G and, uh, but bear with me, though. It's kind of embarrassing. But I'm going to find it. All right? It's early in the morning. Thank you. But anyway, if y'all find yourself flipping over a table or two, <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you ha you're having a Jesus moment. You see things ain't right. You know, people think you're not supposed to stand up and do things. You see what I'm saying? Even the Lord, God say in Exodus, he's a jealous God. <clears throat> the Lord is a vengeful God. Uh, he, he a loving God, you know what I mean? But he ain't afraid to display and show him things, right? He, 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 uh, <clears throat> this is not, uh, 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 this is not a, uh, uh, anger for no reason. If you see a little kid being picked on or something and you're not upset, you don't want to do something, something wrong with you. You see what I'm saying? Like where? It's a, that's, that's how it is. When the Lord see things ain't right, you know how things is. And people think you ain't supposed to get mad. Uh, so don't feel mad and upset if uh, you flipped over a table to and you find yourself having a Jesus moment. Jesus went in that te temple and seen them people. Lord Jesus, please show me where it's at. He, he went in and had, and seen the people flipping over the temple, uh, messing up the, the church. <clears throat> All right? He ain't like that. All right. He flipped them tables over. <laughs> They call them hypocrite and some other. You know what I mean? You find yourself feeling like the Lord, they're going to talk about you. They talk about me. I don't care. I give them something to talk about. Lord Jesus, if I don't find this thing right here, um, y'all ain't typing in y'all's phone. <laughs> I'll keep on messing with y'all. <laughs> y'all looking at me. I told y'all this. Uh, it's early in the morning, man. I won't, I won't going to get on here to be honest with y'all. But anyway, <clears throat> yeah, that was it's a nice little joke. I can't find it. Lord Jesus, know I'm kind of irritated. <laughs> but y'all find yourself flipping the table to what we find you having a Jesus moment, all right? But anyway, you got two types of people. This this conclusion of the matter for the day. I ain't gonna be on here all the time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give y'all this. This this the conclusion of the matter for the day. Uh, you got two types of people: those who fear God and those who don't. Those who believe and those who do not. Go to E Classes chapter twelve. You don't know how irritated I am that I couldn't find that. If one of y'all find it and type in y'all phone, I will surely read it. You know what I mean? Make my day. Help me out. I'm asking for some assistance. Don't just look at me struggling on here. Somebody help me. Jesus flipped the, the table over. Type in your phone, and it should pop up on the internet. Use your internet. And it'll pop up, and type it in. Show it to me. But you got two types of people, those who fear the Lord and those who don't. I won't get on here today, because I'm super tired. <laughs> And I got to go, man. Uh, go to E-Class, chapter 12, though. I'm going to give y'all a little bit. I love to do this. Don't nobody make me do this. Pay me to do this. I ain't got to do this. I ain't got to be on here. Hmm. Why not? 
I love being able to spend time in God's word. Though. I wish I can go to church today, but uh, I ain't going to be able to. There's a few things I got to focus on. I got to get up and get out in a minute. Uh, but I can do this. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 9 through 14, uh, Brother Solomon wrote, Not only was the teacher wise, but he also imparted knowledge to the people. Uh, he pondered and searched out and set, and set in order many proverbs. The teacher searched to find just the right words, and what he wrote was upright and true. The words of the wise are like golds. They're collected sands like firmly embedded nails. Given by one shepherd, <clears throat> given by one shepherd, amen. Be warned, my son, of addition, uh, in anything, of, of anything in addition up to them. Of making many books, there is no end. <laughs> or once you start writing books, <laughs> if you if it, if you, if, they, if there is any book writers out there, if you write one book, you know you keep writing. You gonna you like you like to write many books. Write got like four or five books. <laughs> if I don't sit back and chill, I have hundreds of books sitting around somewhere. You see what I'm saying? Or, but anyway. Of making many books, there is no end. And much study, where is the body? Any one of y'all college, college students, y'all study all day, you be tired afterwards. <laughs> much study, where is the body? You can't study all the time. <laughs> it, wear, it, it wear your body out. I got two people watching. I wish one of y'all would type in, Jesus flipped over the, t the tables in y'all phone. Uh, so I could read that junk, because you don't know how to, throw it off, how to throw it off I am. But anyway, uh, now all has been heard. <clears throat> Here is the conclusion of the matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. Amen. For this is the duty of all mankind. Uh, for God will bring every deed into judgment, whether, whether uh, including everything hidden, every hidden thing, whether it is good or evil. Amen. <clears throat> you see? Go to Malachi. The last, uh, the last book in the Old Testament. Malachi chapter uh, 3. You see? Verses 16, uh, verses 16 through the end of chapter 4. Malachi chapter 3, the last book in your Bible. If you read the Bible with me, you can go to it. <clears throat> you got two types of people. Malachi chapter 3, verse 16, it say the faithful remain. Uh, it say, then, then those who feared the Lord talked with each other, and the Lord listened and heard. A scroll of remembrance was written in his presence concerning those who feared the Lord and honored his name. On, on, on the day when I act, says the Lord Almighty, uh, they will be my treasured possession, and I will spare them, just as the Father has compassion and spares, his, and spares his son who serves him. And you will again see the distinction between the righteous and the wicked, between those who serve God and those who do not. Uh, Malachi chapter 4, uh, say judgment and the covenant renewal. Surely the day is coming, it will burn like a furnace. And all the arrogant and every evil door will, will be stumbled. Uh, and the day that and the day that is coming will set them on fire, says the Lord Almighty. Not a root or a branch will be left to them. But for you who revere my name, uh, the Son of Righteousness will, will rise with healing in his in his rays, and you will go out and frolic like well fed like well fed calves. Then you will trample on the wicked. <clears throat> they will be ashed under the soles of your feet on the day when I act says the Lord Almighty. Remember the law of my servant Moses, the decrees and laws I gave him at Horab for all Israel. See, I will send the prophet Elijah to you before the great and dreadful day of the Lord, uh, of the Lord, uh, uh, before that great and dreadful day of, uh, of, the, of the Lord comes. <clears throat> he will turn the hearts of the parents to, the, to their children and the, child, and the hearts of the children to their parents, or else I will come and strike the whole land with total destruction. <laughs> You see, <clears throat> all over the world, all over the uh, world on the face of the earth, there are two types of people, those who believe and those who do not believe, those who have faith, faith and those who do not have faith. I wrote this like three weeks ago, so y'all got to bear with me. <laughs> I've been this <clears throat> and I write sloppy. Yo, so I know what I'm I know what I'm reading. Somebody else would read. I'd be like, what the heck is this dude, bro? But anyway, uh. You got two types of people, no matter who you are. Those who have faith and those who do not have faith. Those who fear God and accept his commands, prophets, messengers, and those who do not fear God and accept his commands, prophets, and messengers. I was talking to a brother the other day in the car. He said he don't read the Bible or nothing, but he listened to it. He listened to it. That, that his, 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 uh, he be listening to his voice. I, I told him, 
the scientists will label a conscious. Like, where? That's what the people hear. A conscious, you got two voices. A lot of people, if you too into the world, you can't hear. You know what I mean? But where? The Lord is speaking to you through your conscious. The, the scientists label a, con, a, a conscious. <laughs> A human being is made up of three: the mind, body, and the spirit. It's really the spirit of a person. It's not the con. It's a sp the spirit is the conscience of a person. Where, you see, because it's a, it's a spiritual thing. <laughs> you can't touch your conscience. It's a spiritual thing. When you close your mind and you hear yourself talking, just I'm telling you, it's a spiritual thing. <laughs> a lot of people don't understand that. But if you listen and you're not too drawn into the world, if you're not too deep, if you're not if you're not too um, rebellion and want, and if you don't want the world. And you try not to, like, say say I got a group of people trying to make me do the wrong thing, but I don't want to mess with them. You see what I'm saying? In my heart, I don't want to mess with them, but I mess with them. You see what I'm saying? But it's a voice telling me not to mess with them. That's the Holy Spirit speaking to the person. You see what I'm saying? They don't understand that. <laughs> but if you listen to that voice, God is the word. You see what I'm saying? Even people who don't read the Bible, they fear God, and sometimes they listen to that voice. You see what I'm saying? Listen. All right? You got two types of people. And <laughs> word. Listen. Malachi chapter 3. Uh, verse 18 say and you will and you will again see this and you will again see the distinction between the righteous and the un, between the righteous and the wicked between those who serve God and those who do not <clears throat> listen all right Exodus chapter 19 verses 1 through 8 I got a few times which I ain't gonna be on here every day with y'all I miss reading with y'all God bless y'all to all y'all who, who enjoy and spirit who enjoy spending time in God's word Drown yourself in God's word because the day going to come when uh, people ain't going to be able to get a chance to hear God's word. You see what I'm saying? Satan real good. It, 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 spoke, it, it ain't nothing new under the sun. The Lord tell the people everything that's going to happen. That's why you see what's going on now. It's like people don't care about God. Don't worry. And you see the world, they more they they promote the wrong things. They cover it up and they act like there ain't nothing going on and they just let it go on. You, you got to be in the world. No, I'm in the world. You know what I mean? You can't. We, I'm talking about uh, how the world is. <laughs> you ain't got to hit people over the head with the Bible, but the people don't want to, to have God in the world at all. It's going to be a day coming when uh, they're trying to, they're going to try to like, they're going to make it like they're doing it now. You look on TV and see how things is, what they're teaching the children, putting around. You know what I mean? They want dudes to be girls. They want girls to be dudes. Act like everything's okay. <laughs> Bro, it's not supposed to be that way. <laughs> God created two people. He, he created one man, and he, he, and he and he made out of that man a woman. A woman designed for a man. I'm just saying. Uh, where you see what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, but you see how the world is. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> everything that people do, that God do for the people, they take it and they make it. They make it like a joke or something. <laughs> you know, like y'all forget me. I'm just saying. I'm just pointing little stuff out. You know, when when, when God saved Moses and and spared his life. He put the rainbow up in the he put that rainbow up in the sky as a sign of a covenant. You hear, every time, each and every single time you see a rainbow out in the sky, that is a sign from God Almighty Himself. You hear me? But you look on TV, what that rain what that rainbow represent? It represents that pride stuff. You see what I'm saying? I ain't trying to be rude to the people. Y'all forgive me. I'm just speaking the truth. I ain't talking about you. I'm talking about what they promote. I don't care what you is. A sin sin to me. Homosexuality, just like southern drugs or Robbing and stealing, you know what I mean. You do one, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, ain't one bad as the other. Whatever you do, what you do, you know what I mean. Some people lying, it's just like lying, <laughs> lying, judging people. Just like, where are you judging people? That's what I'm saying. I ain't judging people. I'm just pointing out, like where one ain't better than the other. I'm not perfect. I got things I, I ain't supposed to be looking at. Uh, I got things I do I ain't supposed to do. You see what I'm saying? But I don't promote it. I ain't going to tell my kids to do it. I don't want them to do it. And in fact, I tell my brothers and them, y'all stay away from me for certain stuff because I don't want them to learn certain stuff I learned growing up. It's, it's better for them not to know. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Then go the different route. That's what I tell them to go the different route. Go to work. Work hard work. Pay off, bro. You ain't got to be out here. That movie ATL, when he told us that was the realest thing, that was one of the realest scene I seen when T.I. told his little brother when he opened up that little box and told him, you ain't got to have, you ain't got to be a dope boy to have money. Why? That's one of the realest scenes I ever seen. Like when he told his little brother that. He, that was from I'm telling you. <clears throat> I know it's just a move, but it's real. You see what I'm saying? But um, I don't promote I don't promote certain stuff. One thing better is just as bad as the next. Word. Right. <laughs> uh, when I'm around my youngest brother, I don't really like to smoke around him. I, I smoke, you know what I mean? But I don't like to, you see what I'm saying? I'm from around my nephews. I don't want to smoke around them. They little kids. I don't want them to see Uncle Vontae smoking. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Because they learn <laughs> and see. Does that make any sense to you? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I'm not perfect. I ain't judging nobody. I'm just saying how the people 
promote it in the world. You see what I'm saying? And they, where you'll see if I was promoting, you see it on my junk. I'm trying to get off with something. Where you, you'll see it. Where, but anyway, the people promote that. But every time you see that rainbow outside in the sky, that's a sign from God. You hear? But the people, every time you see it on the TV, the world make it something else. That's what that's what the world do. They take God and they make it to something funny. You know what I mean? Promote it for something else. Where it's Christmas. Spending money. It's supposed to be about Jesus. They take it, make it about money or something. Where you see? Where? Anyway. Exodus, uh, y'all bear with me. I got caught up. Exodus 19, verses 1 through 8. Yeah, y'all spend as much time as y'all can and get the word in your in your heart. You see what I'm saying? It's this book. This book is just a book. <laughs> Unless the words in this book <laughs> Come out of the book and the Holy Spirit put it in your heart. You see what I'm saying? Because when you when you able to be with somebody and you don't need your book and it's in your heart, I'm telling you, that you're word. Not just when you with somebody, but when you by yourself, wake up in the morning at night. You ain't gonna have time to do everything all the time. When you gotta go to work, you gotta go to work. Some of y'all work 12 hour shifts. I know what it's like. <laughs> word. I ain't can't you ain't, you ain't always got time to do everything. But it should be in your heart. <laughs> They can't take that from me. <laughs> hey, I can work 12 hour shifts for the rest of my life. I ain't got to see no word. You hear? I still do my get my get my name from time to time when I can with the people. The Lord let you know who to talk to. You see what I'm saying? I, I wish I could have seen Jesus rolling around because when he rolled around, he ain't make himself known. <laughs> I love it. He, he ain't make himself. He was him, man. He could have been around. You could have been sitting around talking with him. He would have never, you would have never known he was the son of God. Or the Messiah, or whatever, cause he just he was just being him, and I love that. People get too caught up in the sauce, and they don't be done. Jesus sat down with the people. It's a whole lot of people can't don't sit down with certain people. <laughs> Jesus said that he got invited to the parties, bro. I get my I get my invites from time to time. I don't be no, I be tired. I still get my invites though. I'm a slab from time to time. They think I ain't gonna, I'm gonna throw a few parties from time to time. You dang right. Once the situation changes, you think I ain't? I'm gonna tell the people, come on through. Y'all come through. Y'all ain't gotta bring nothing, whatever you mean, whatever you do, do. Just come on through. <laughs> Y'all know how to have a good time. All right, don't worry about that. Exodus, Exodus 19, verses 1 through 8. Y'all bear with me. It's early in the morning. I'm gonna give y'all a little something. I got good. Mm -hmm. Exodus 19, verses 1 through 8. Uh say, on the first day of the, on the first day of the third month after that. And I, I'm I'm still waiting on one of y'all to type in when Jesus flipped over the tables. I ain't got my other phone, so I can't type it in. And I, so I'm hurt. All right. If one of y'all would please help me out, <laughs> type in Jesus seeing the people exchanging money in your phone, and he, and he flipped the tables up. Because if one of y'all want to know if y'all finding yourself like Jesus, have, if uh, y'all ever been mad and flipped over a table too, because y'all seen something ain't right, <laughs> you some what well, I'm telling you. You, you find yourself having a Jesus moment. <laughs> you get up mad and upset, man. You find, you tossing a table to the ground. People think you lost your mind. Nah, they tripping. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> on the first day of the third month after the Israelites left Egypt, on that very day, uh, they came to the desert of Sinai. After they set out from Raphidim, they entered the desert of Sinai in Israel and camped. And, uh, and Israel camped there in the desert in the front of the mountain. <clears throat> then Moses went up to God, and the Lord called to him from the mountain and said, This is what you are to say to the descendants of Jacob, and what you are to tell the people of Israel. You, you yourselves have seen what I did to Egypt, and how I carried you on eagles' wings and brought you uh, to myself. Now, if you obey me fully and keep my covenant, then out of all the nations, you'll be my treasured possession. You will be my treasured possession. That's the Lord speaking. Although the heart, although the whole earth is mine, you uh, will be for me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words you are to speak to the Israelites. So Moses uh, went back and summoned the elders of the people and set before them all the words the Lord had commanded him to speak. The people all responded uh, together. We will do everything the Lord has said. Amen. So Moses brought their answer to, back to the Lord. <laughs> all right. The Lord just want the people to obey him. Uh, it's a lot of people who uh, ain't religious or whatever. I could read this. It does not matter if you're Jewish, Christian, Muslim. What matters is do you believe in God, uh, the creator of the heavens uh, 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 and earth? Do you put your faith in God's word uh, that he reveals to you uh, through his word, his prophets, his messengers, his servants, his angels? 
Do you fear the Lord and revere his, his holiness? Do you have respect for him truly? Uh, do you believe as Abraham did, Genesis 15, 1 through 6, uh, uh, Abraham took God at his word? Do you? That's all he asked for. In Deuteronomy 10, I got like three pages wrote. I ain't going to have time to do it because I got to get up out of him. You see? I won't even going to get on him. <laughs> but I, I, I miss spending time in the Lord's word with the people. I spend time in the word every day. I don't miss a heartbeat. <laughs> Where people trip. <laughs> and I'm out here. <laughs> people trip. <laughs> well, God bless y'all, man. And uh, Don't let nobody judge you. Life ain't about being perfect. I'm not perfect. <laughs> I never will be, bro. <laughs> don't ever think this brother got it all together. <laughs> I struggle just like you struggle. And I put my shoes on like you do. What you talking about? <laughs> trip <laughs> life ain't about being perfect do, do the best you can man <clears throat> and you can't do no more it's all good mm -hmm. you know what i mean <clears throat> uh, keep on praying and keep asking for the holy spirit you're gonna need that out here <laughs> you're gonna need him out here mm -hmm. yeah. that can be referred to as a person uh play, place or thing when they say who did it that uh, uh that was a uh, that's uh, that or, or who was it or who was that that's him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Where that can be referred to a per person, place, or that. You're going to need it. It can, too. I ain't, I ain't here to do an uh, English class with y'all, but I'm, get, I'm getting off here. <laughs> uh, I love y'all. Y'all keep on asking for the Holy Spirit. The Lord going to give it to you. I hope he give it to you. I pray he give it to you. He'll give it to you in your sleep. Uh, and don't worry about being perfect. Nobody perfect, bro. <laughs> Nobody ever going to be perfect. Only one person was perfect. And his name was Jesus Christ. All right. All right. So you keep on, you take God his word and you wake up and do the best you can. I see y'all again. Keep praying for me. I keep praying for y'all too. Amen.